What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So if you guys are new here, my name is Kyle and I do all things motorcycle related. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a product that I got from a company. It is a phone mount for your bike, which obviously that's going to be very nice to have if you do some longer rides or if you have a bike that doesn't have an infotainment system and you need some sort of way to navigate around. So a phone mount will obviously come in very handy for that. So without further ado, I'll uh, show you guys what I got here. So I'm here at the workbench and uh, boom. So yeah, so Rockform hit me up and they said uh, we want to send you a phone mount as well as a case and such for you to try out. I was like, absolutely. As you guys know, while well, I've been using the Law Abiding Biker Biker Gripper for the last two or three years and it's worked tremendously for me, I hear nothing but great reviews about the Rock Form. So when Rock Form reached out to me, I said, absolutely, I will definitely try it and uh, see what it's like and let you guys know. Um, obviously, I opened it up just one time to peek and it looks nothing but the highest of quality. So let's go unbox it and take a look at it. So obviously when it comes to these uh, mounts, you have to have a phone specific case. They do make like a sticker on the back with the like little rock form um, lock that you could still use for a universal case if you did not want to use their case. So obviously this is like any other phone case. Um, you take your phone out, clean it up, and drop it in. So I'm going to do that off camera. Setting that aside, moving right along, I went with the Aluminum Pro Series Motorcycle Perch slash Clutch phone mount. And real quick, the reason why I went with this over the typical handlebar mount is because, if you guys are familiar, I have the Factory 47 12-inch signature bars and those bars run about an inch and a half in pipe diameter. So it's not a, just a rock form thing. Um, pretty much any kind of phone clamp or any clamp for the bike, uh, like whether it's a drink mount, so on and so forth, that I've seen, they only typically make a bar size for up to an inch and a quarter. So I haven't really seen anything in any part of the market for a handlebar clamp or whatever that's an inch and a half so that's why I went with the perch mount because obviously their handlebar mount would not have fit so you got some pretty neat packaging here from rock form you got your superior adjustability and you can securely attach any rock form case and as you can see you get a little bit of a pivot front and back as well as a 360 degrees rotation of the mount which is pretty neat. And unboxing this, you have your standard uh, torque screws and you have your metric torque screws, which looks like they come with a little washer and a spacer, which the little rubber washer is kind of nice because, um, you know, your handlebar, your half clamps for your handlebars or your control housing is aluminum. So if you have the spacer and stuff on that, over time it might take the paint or the powder coat off the surface so that's kind of nice uh, it comes with a little torque wrench there that you could use and a little rock form uh, wrist strap and then you got the actual mount itself and then at the bottom of the case you have the mount insulation which shows you everything that you need to know and that lanyard is obviously as a safety feature if your phone were to fall off. So the other piece of the puzzle that we have is a motorcycle mount which is a vibration dampener. So if you rock an iPhone, I believe it's 11 Pro and newer, uh, there were some things speculating on the internet that uh, depending on like your phone mounts on a motorcycle handlebar, when you hit bumps and stuff, it could actually shatter one of the three cameras. Um, I forget which one it was, but the companies have then came out with these vibration dampeners. So what we have to do is let's unbox this thing real quick. Come with a little installation. But pretty much this just replaces 
and that, this is pretty heavy. Both of these are pretty heavy, which speaks volumes on the quality aspect. But pretty much we have to just take this torque screw out, take this off, and then install this in its place. So that's what that is. But if you do have a newer phone, I think even Samsung had some issues. So this is something else that you're going to have to buy. And uh, obviously when I make this video, all the pieces that I have here on the table will be down in the description as well as a link to their website in general if you want to get a handlebar mount or if you have an Android and would need a different case. So I'm going to set you guys up and then we're going to change out the vibration dampener and then we're going to go to the bike. I'm going to take my old mount off and show you guys how this goes on. So using a little towel so I don't scratch my surface, I'm using the Torx. It is a T20 that came with the vibration dampener. I'm going to loosen this up, take this one off. Alright, so when you go to take this apart, everything's going to kind of come apart here a little bit. So we're going to put that spacer back in where it clicks in. I'm going to take this piece with those little nubs out, stack that on, and then we can take our dampener here and marry these together until the rubber spacers touch. And then we can take our new supplied screw here. Get that started and snug it up. All right, so that is the dampener installed. And the only thing that's left to do is to go to the bike and install it there. I'm at the bike. Now I have to use a 3 because like I said, I currently had the Law Abiding Biker Biker Gripper. But if you're in a stock format, you're most likely going to have to use a T27. You might have to use a T27. All right, so I'm gonna use the standard screws that came with the kit. I gotta take this little rubber washer off here and then the spacer off. Insert the screw into the mount. Apply your spacer. Apply your rubber washer. And I'm just gonna try to do one for right now just to get it started. As you can see here, I got a handy helper to make sure my lever and mirror and everything stays where it needs to stay. Using the supplied torque wrench to, just to where it grabs. All right guys, so welcome back. So we had ran into a bit of a dilemma so with the new bracket being obviously a lot thicker than the previous bracket, and I'm also thinking because I have the factory 47 bars, even though they taper down to a thinner or smaller diameter, uh, they're still fatter than a typical bar. So the screws weren't reaching in far enough. So we had to go run to the hardware store, pick up a quarter 20 uh, by two and a half inch uh, screws. As you can see, this is what came with the rock form. Um, although they're not black, we might have to just paint them up, paint the heads of them a little bit, but, but we just needed the extra length to reach the other side of the housing. So if you're running a factory 47 bar per se, you might run into that issue. So now we can try this again. All right, so using the hardware uh, screws there, the quarter by 20, two and a halves, uh, they were still, <laughs> now we went from too short to too long. But luckily we were able to use the different spacers that came in the kit and we used two of the rubber um, spacers or washers that came from the other metric bolts and we doubled them up with the ones that came on these the standard bolts and that was able to get it tight. So we had to rig it a little bit, 
but we got it on. So beware if you have factory 47 bars and a road glide with a fatter clamp. You might just have to do that to get your rock form on your perch mount. But now that that's done, we can proceed to the next part. And that is installing the foam mount back onto that perch. You kind of have to play with it a little bit, find out where you really kind of want it. All right, so now that that's installed, um, one thing I can already tell that I will dislike about this foam mount compared to the law abiding biker foam mount is um, it comes with that insert that you physically have to pop your phone out of the case to put in and out. So that to me is a problem because now all the dirt's going to kind of get in your case here. Whereas if you had a normal case, that will not happen. And also another issue that we kind of found out is to rotate this to orient it how you want it. You physically have to loosen up that torque screw and kind of adjust this side to side. And then even which then, depending how your phone locks in, your phone might be crooked. So <clears throat> the law abiding biker one was on an actual ball mount. So it was very simplistic on getting it to the exact angle that you want it. But like I said, the quality of this thing is outstanding. So got my 12 Pro in the case. You push that in and the phone just locks in just like that. So like I said, it is very simple and the actual products themselves are outstanding. I hear nothing but great things, but those are my only two flaws with this product is the fact that I had to go kind of substitute some hardware to make it fit and the fact that you can't just change the orientation on the fly. You physically need that Torx uh, 25, I believe it was, to change that. Regardless, it is on the bike and I will be testing it out and uh, see how it goes. But as always, I hope my videos are insightful and helpful for you guys. I showed you guys total transparency. Uh, the fact that I had to go get uh, longer screws to make this project even happen as well as kind of like what I had to come up with to make it work. But that is neither here nor there. Um, if you guys stuck around this far in the video, make sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this one. And uh, once again, I want to send a huge shout out to Rockform for sending me the phone case and the mount uh, for me to test out and stuff for you guys. So once again, I'll have the links to their products down below in the description. Um, if you haven't heard of them, go check them out. If you're in the market for a phone mount, go check it out. Just one other thing, if you guys could go follow me over on Instagram at MotoHeadKyle. I'm a lot more active on there and it's a lot easier to engage with you guys on Instagram. So at the corner of the screen or down in the description, you can find my Instagram handle. So go please follow me over there. I'd greatly appreciate it. But with that being said, make sure to ride safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.